Hello everyone. Uh, today we will go and see how to do a mapping with your dynamic IP uh, with a host name. So suppose you have a one user and it uh, used to connect to a server using your uh, public IP. And if you have a dynamic public IP which is assigned by your ISP. Uh, dynamic IP which means it will change every time uh, uh, you restart the router or it may also change uh, depending on the time set by your ISP so suppose if IP change over here and the user is unknown he may connect using the same IP so he, he may not be able to go through the uh, server that is going to access so for that what we need to configure is uh, you need to map your dynamic IP which is out here uh, with a host name uh, so whenever a user use uh, host name instead of a dynamic IP so there is always a mapping with your host, a host name and a dynamic IP so user is still able to connect to a, a server over here so if user is connecting only using a IP uh, what happens if the IP changes user is unable to get through the server over here so in your router you have an option over here which is the dynamic DNS setting and uh, in my router, router have a two options for dynds.com and dzo.com uh, I prefer to use the dynds.com and I have uh, set uh, one uh, host name which is mapped with my public IP and this is my username and my password so what happens is uh, this uh, host name is mapped with my dynamic public IP. So if whether my IP change or not, uh, this host name remains the same. So I can connect to my remote uh, remote computer or remote device using my uh, host name. So uh, you can also sign up uh, on a dynamic DNS dot uh, com. Uh, maybe you get a free one. Uh, host uh, for if you want uh, multiple host to configure you need to pay for the service uh, you may also use other service like no IP or something else but your uh, router may not support depending on your router support uh, you need to configure it so the process is uh, user connect using a host name over here and map with your uh, uh, IP so it may get through the remote computer over here so you can do a port forwarding uh, exactly uh, to your map with your internal IP so if a user connects from external network if a user connects from external network to his uh, local network over here so he must use a uh, host name which is mapped with your dining IP if you have a static IP over here it doesn't matter so you can use uh, your static IP because it never changed so that's how it works so I uh, hope you understand wh wh why what is the use of dynamic DNS over here so that's all for this video or if you don't understand or if you are not clear what, what I'm talking over here uh, you can just leave me a comment so that's all for this video thank you thank you for watching